Hey Libra, welcome to Black Star Tarot. This is your love reading for December. All right, messages for Libra. What is Libra up to? All right, so we have tact, self-love, standards. Mm. Now it's for Libra. You or them, Libra. Somebody needs to have some standards. I don't know. You or them. You and your person. Both of you. Again? Again, judgment is here. Again? I lost track of how many zodiac signs got judgment today. I feel like almost all of them did. And judgment, you know, is here. Um, because there's been, like, some type of, like, spiritual growth. Like, when judgment shows up, it's time to grow. But it's usually after a time of like some type of spiritual like renewal or revelation, you know, to something like you've been, you know, probably working hard on something and healing from something. And now you're ready, you know, to start again and go after, you know, what it is that you want in your life and to trust the process, you know, as you go. So seeing judgment here with standards, tact, and self-love is definitely a good thing. Because when it came in the reading by itself, I'm like, okay, now what person needs, you know, got these issues right now? Like who, you know, doesn't have tact? Who doesn't, you know, love themselves? But with judgment following and after that, all is well, right? Because judgment says you've done just that, right? You've grown, you know, after again, a time of having to like renew yourself, okay? That you've had to, a time after you, or a time where you've had to work, you know, really hard on yourself. If I could kiss you right now, I will. Because I know that sounds like cheesy and shit, you know. But um, I do feel like, you know, that type of growth is beautiful. Particularly like in a love reading. Because most people are always lost in love. Like love readings can be the worst, Libra. I swear it. Like relationships be so fucking toxic that I honestly don't like to do them. You know, but when I see this type of energy, I definitely want to smile. You know, most people get into relationships not because they want to give to the next person. Most people get into relationships because they want to they want to take or they want to draw other people's energies, like to fill the the gaps that they think they have in them. Like people get into relationships, you know, for money, you know, of loneliness or convenience, you know, never really getting into relationships to say, you know what, I am the best and I want to give the best of me to somebody else and so on and so on. As that's as crazy as that may sound like i promise that if that was like everybody's intention then you know a lot of these love readings would just be absolutely beautiful but they're not they're full of arguments conflicts gossip spying you know things like that like all the time so i'm done with that all right so look so it says i don't want to lose you right so it's always a struggle for those of you who could have broken up with somebody and had to learn these lessons you know to miss them right you know not being around them or missing those good times you know and things like that and some of you you may not have wanted to let somebody go but it was needed right i do feel like it was needed and needed and for others of you you didn't want to lose you know yourself in this because a lot of times if you're in a bad relationship you tend to lose yourself like in the end they're gone yourself is gone you know and it gets like really crazy right but i see here for some of you you know you're missing someone you know this is someone you did not want to let go someone you did not want to lose you know but you had to you know for your own self-love and your own standards right and, and things like that. Like as much as you wanted to compromise and come to some resolution with this person, you know, it was just you deceiving yourself, right? Or, you know, struggling with this because, you know, I can see that this person is always on your mind, but I also see that you have trust issues with this person and you don't want to be hurt again, all right? So that's crazy, right? That you had to end this relationship because you were truly you know, in love with this person is how I'm feeling, right? You were truly in love with them. But, you know, something didn't work out here. Okay. All right, let's move on. All right, messages. I'll leave the place. It's probably gonna get this one all that shuffling I just did. Strength. All right. I like this. Strength is a major arcana, right? And major arcana is, you know, always, 
you know, speak of um, life lessons or areas where, like I, where, um, where you need to grow. All right, but this is a very influential uh, card. All right, so this is a time where I feel like I, like somebody is like on your mind. All right, somebody is you did not want to lose, and this is hard for you. Okay, but you are in control. When strength shows up, all right, strength is a superpower, right? You can use this power to help you transition through, you know, the changes, you know, that occur, you know, in your life and in your relationships and your circumstances. Like strength is a part of Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but strength is here to help you, okay? It's helping you keep control of the situation and it's reminding you of just that, that you are, you know, in control. What else for Libra? You don't want nothing bad in your life. So, you know, all things heal in time. All right. Ah, uh, look at the fool. Yeah. You know, this is wanting a new beginning or a new start, period, right? Um, But there's so much that you just don't know. Like, when you have somebody who may betray your trust or, you know, where things just didn't work out or whatever, um sometimes like there's a feeling of like not knowing you know what to expect you know a second time around but some of you really want to surrender to this because the fool will do a complete surrender despite the risk okay you know they just they just want to jump in you know for the fun so this is definitely you know hard for some of you okay and this it feels you know it's a, it's a really weird feeling because it's like you know if you take them back you're taking a risk you know, but, you know, when you're not with them, you miss them, okay? You miss them, but remember, judgment says you learned the lesson. You took the time, you know, to grow, okay? So it's not a time to go after, you know, the way you did things in the past that didn't work out. It's an opportunity to move to the future, okay? So what is that? Five, six, seven, eight of uh, coins we have here. You need to work on some new shit, right? Some new plans, some new people, make new commitments, Okay, um, prepare yourself, you know, find, you know, something to um, distract yourself with, all right? The Eight of Coins speaks of mastery, okay? So master your emotions, master your thoughts, like know what's best for you. Even if you regret losing somebody, even if you're like missing somebody right now, like watch it. Because it could be a trap. Seven of Wands. We have here challenges all right standing your ground all right setting some boundaries right yep do that right underneath strength so just keep that in mind look the universe is bringing you in the wheel like what else do you want you know you've learned the lesson it's time to move on and get some blessings okay the wheel is the part of aquarius leo um and some of you could be dealing with leo that's leo here twice all right so sad you could be dealing with another I said, like, I mean, Libra, you could be dealing with um, a fire sign, okay? Sagittarius, um, Aries. Yeah. All right, what else? Wheel of Fortune. How do I feel about this wheel? I don't know. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Hmm, maybe life cycles, you know, things changing, turning around. Or trying to change, okay? Be some things that's trying to change here for you. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. I'm still stuck on the wheel. I'm sorry. I know that Two of Pentacles is down there, but I'm just thinking still. Like, there was something I wanted to say, like, when I looked at that wheel. Like, I don't know. You got some good luck here. I do see that, you know, coming in. Like, you may be losing somebody, but I feel like you're gaining something better. Like, with the wheel here, it's just that you have to make the choice, right? With the Two of Pentacles, you have to make the decision, you know, like, on how you want to do this, right? The Two of Pentacles is you being reminded that you have to balance pleasure and responsibility because those are the keys to success. Those are the keys to, to winning, so I know you're missing somebody. I know that you don't want to lose somebody. And this is very difficult, you know, for some of you. And I feel like somebody wants a new beginning here more than anything in the world. But I just feel like you have to surrender this. You're going to have to, you know, let this go. Put your hard work and your energy towards something that's going to benefit you. Because right now, 
you know, you're in this seven of swords energy and it is not a pleasant one, right? You know, so who wants challenges and things like that? And you have it to be on guard, you know, all the time. Like no one, no one wants that. So you got to have a little self-love and just separate yourself from, you know, relationships that are just fucked up. All right. Let's see what else. What else for Libra? take that look death all right exactly it's time to go you know death is here to you know to remind you that you know endings come you know so that you know renewals can start like i said i do feel like the universe has you know a gift for you there is something you know here for you if you believe you know in that kind of stuff so if you're losing somebody I, first of all i applaud you for being again emotionally mature enough you know to let something that is bad for you go all right, because that's what some of you have done. You're letting go of something that's bad, but death is like, you know what? No worries, right? All things must pass, but um, renewal and rebirth, you know, is here, okay? So just go with the change, right? Be flexible. Okay. What else for? Um, Libra. What else for Libra? Anything else? And it got stopped. No, one second, guys. What else? For me? They flipping, but they ain't flying. I ain't. Mm -mm. Oh, nope. I want one to hit the table. There it is. Got it. All right, what do we have here? God, two of swords. Like, yeah, you're going to have to meditate on something here. Let's just get that out of the open, right? You're going to have to meditate on something and you're going to have to make you know, the choice based off of like, you know, m mindfulness, not confusion, you know, because the card kind of has both meanings. It's the card of being mindfulness and it's also the card of confusion. So you're going to have to, you know, really get up in your head, okay, and really think about your decisions and things like that. Because right now, you know, you're torn between things. You're torn um, between like, what do you do about these feelings and what do you do about this person that you know doesn't you don't want to lose or just as dumb not wanting to lose you i don't know but two of swords is definitely a stalemate all right you just kind of stuck torn between two period right and it's like do i stay do i go that's enough of those let's see what else we have all right messages for libra and right, i want to flew out like right away you got i can't do it okay i get it right <laughs> Some of you are determined to just do what's best for yourself, you know, at this time, okay? You got to spend time together. Like, this is resisting. Like, you're resisting. You want to, you know what's right. And yeah, you probably want to spend time with this person. But like I said, like, you didn't I say earlier, like, you would be taking a risk. Like, I just feel like it's, it's risky spending time with this person. You may want to call them. You may want to talk to them. But it's just making you, like, vulnerable. You know, you got sadness and loss. What else? Oh. Look, we have fears in reverse, okay? And we have elimination. So I really don't do reversals, but, you know, so you got fears here. You got you some risk here. You know, the universe is trying to get your attention. Like, I get how you feel, but if you, if you get back with this person, I feel that it's going to be risky, okay? talking to this person is going to be risky yes you love this person but it's going to be risky you got sadness and loss that's still here so even though you want this fresh start that just popped out i'm not sure what to say about it all right you guys use your own you know discretion on x i don't like telling people what to do but i see this fresh start because we saw it with the fool all right so this relationship you know, is really being, I don't even want to say the relationship is being tested. Somebody's standards are being tested right now. You know, somebody is saying like, look, you know, I have to stay determined not to put myself back in this shit again. Because this is like, I can see it, but it's difficult, right? It's difficult. Look at the two of swords. She's like, look, I don't even want to deal with this. I don't want to, you know, you're just trying to feel your way through it, right? She got her eyes covered so she can feel through this decision, and it's tough because you want to spend time with this person, but your fear is, is that it's just not going to work out, you know, once again. But I don't know. Look, you got the visitor card. 
So you may be having um, a visit or at least a conversation. I do feel like it's more physical for real, for real with the spend time together. I don't even, I think if you have a conversation, it'll be what time are you coming over, you know, kind of a thing. But because um, some of you are going to buckle, you're going to give in and that's okay. So, um, but that's what I have for you guys. I hope you like your reading and I will see you in the next video.